Brian and Sean and Craig show. Uh, yeah, no Vinny tonight. He's, uh, I don't know where he's at, but he is uh, unavailable. Emmy, Sean Garrett is replacing him today. Jay White and Juice Robinson versus FTR. This match was absolutely fantastic. This match ruled. <laughs> End of story. <laughs> I don't like calling attention to myself or anything like that, but last week with Vinny and Lance, I said, you know, I'd be fine if this match went an hour. And then it did. <laughs> this Dax, who for some reason has had a problem with me mm -hmm. for months and months and months, for reasons I can't explain, because all I do is put over their matches and talk about how great their matches are, but somehow he decided I didn't like him or whatever. I couldn't help but notice that this was the exact same length and the exact same finish as myself versus Man Beast in Derby City Wrestling in 2007. How ironic is that? You know, I've been very complimentary of, of CM Punk, his work in the ring, but I did not think he looked that great in this match. He was trying to do a lot of Bret Hart spots, and they just didn't look good. If you're going to do his spots, like, they got to look good. Sure. You, you don't want to be Miz out there trying to do Brian Danielson spots, and he looks like an idiot. Punk did that, uh, the middle rope elbow that Brett does, and my God, that did not look good. Ricky was working as the babyface. Ricky cheated to win. Uh, Ricky Starks, who was a babyface, is now turned heel on a sure. heel, who I guess is a babyface and also a heel. And Jushin Liger is there, and he's got the uh, the cup or whatever. And, uh, you know, Ricky Gret just snatches it from him and runs off, totally disrespecting the legend. And then the presentation of the Owen Hart Cup, and he's a total baby face. He's smiling. He's clapping. You know, she gives him the belt. He, he, he kisses her on the cheek. So this show's over, and I ain't got no idea what's going on. They need to steal one more uh, piece of business from the Saturday Night Main event, if you will. And that's the green screen for those opening promos. You open your show and, like, guys are sitting in a shitty hallway with a packing crate behind it. Ricky Starks is sitting in a shitty gray chair. Put something fucking behind him. Like, you know, we're FTR. You know, have no fits or whatever behind the... Just something. Like what you got behind you right now. Exactly, because I didn't want you not, looking at my shitty room. Can I, can I have Jared show everybody? He's in an empty room. Ready? Boom! Huh? Hey, look at that. Now Lance is a star. What can you not understand no matter how many times it's explained? Hmm. Granny, no matter how many times we explain this to you, you don't get it. Oh, Must the be, irony. What would that be? Uh, I still don't get it. <laughs> hey, Granny. <laughs> Granny. This is not a bit, everyone. I turn on polka music and dance in my chair. Oh, really? For exercise. Wow. That's fantastic. Can we get that on film one of these days, Granny? I don't know how to do that. I could put some polka music. You're on camera right I can now. Put polka Just start music dancing. On if you want to dance. Granny, are you disappointed that you never got to see Brian Russell, The Undertaker, before they both retired? <laughs> he would have got slaughtered. <laughs> the Undertaker? Don't yeah. say that about The Undertaker. Come on. Oh, Granny, man. did you see The Undertaker staring down a shark? No, but I heard about it. Yeah, he wasn't going to let that shark do nothing. That shark didn't mess with the Undertaker. No. That shark, that shark knew better. I need ideas for gifts to add to my wedding registry. Any suggestions? Noise-canceling headphones. He, <laughs> did you hear that, by the way, Granny? This guy ain't going to be married that long. <laughs> it's like a weekly countdown. <laughs> what, do you think, what do you think lasts longer, Sean's marriage or us getting through these NWA pay-per-views? Nick Wayne, how old is he? Well, he just turned 18. They shouldn't have him out there like that, the poor kid. <laughs> He's 18. He's a grown man. Wouldn't want you to do a, get a, a Paisley in on it. Hannah would be great. Hannah, I, I'm afraid that she is, is <laughs> It's it may be inevitable. A natural heel. You know we should have made Granny watch is that NWA show. No. 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 Are you out of your mind? So Goldilocks goes up to interview Puppet the Psycho Clown, mm -hmm. and he is in a trash can, and he is furiously... Allegedly, he, he's Yankovic. Having, having at himself. He's, he's, uh, roughing up the, he's roughing up the suspect. This man is masturbating. He is going to try to achieve orgasm 
until semen flows out of his testicles. Must we? Through Jesus. his vas deferens and out his urethra. Fuck. <laughs> what? God. That's what he's trying to do. Thanks, Dr. Vinny. I want to make sure that people know what's going on here and what's like watching this show. I'm pretty sure they knew what was going on without that. MGF gets the crowd chanting dance off. He leaves the ring, goes to the uh, the board, and personally pushes the button that hits the disco. So there's a button on the board mm -hmm. where when you push it, it plays disco music yeah. and has just a disco in, lighting. Yes, Just in case a dance-off ever breaks out here in the front. You never so. know when you might need that button. I was smiling throughout this so much it hurt. My, my face was sore Yeah, because you watched smiling. Adam Cole's dancing and you thought, my God, there I am. The fans don't want to see them fight right now. They want to see them together. They want to see them win the world tag team titles. So I don't give two fucks what the plan is. Keep this going. Put the tag team titles on them. And then you can go from there. You don't think everybody involved in this is having the fucking time of their life? Don't take the time of their life away from everybody. No. <laughs> it was certainly not boring. It was not the best War Games match I ever saw. It sure as hell was not the worst. It was not the worst worst match I ever saw. It may have been the weirdest. If you want a bit of nails, you know, and it's not 1895 in a Midwest carnival circuit, you actually have to make it yourself, okay? So they had the prop department make them a bed of nails. Okay. And uh, in hindsight, if you're going to have the prop department make you a bed of nails, maybe you should have them make you a fake one. <laughs> because this was an actual bed of nails. And some of this is, is personal stuff, so I won't say too much. Kotobushi had so many things in the last two years that were just so bad. There was there was mental stuff. There was physical stuff. There was physical stuff that all of you listening to this probably heard about, and there was also physical stuff that you guys never heard about that was really, really bad. And then I heard about the post-match. I'm very happy none of this made TV. I don't need to see teams after War Games of Blood and Guts shaking hands. When the uh, match was over off air, just because yeah. he's Kota Bushi, yeah. he just took a giant back bump into he, the tax. He swept all the back bump, uh, the tax into a pile, stood next to them, and just threw himself into the tax for fun. Yes. He's a true lunatic. Vic Joseph finds it in his heart and in his soul to tell me, the viewer, quote, and obviously James can't be disqualified because Dolan's the one who brought the bag into the match. No. That is not what happened. Don't fucking lie to me and assume I am fucking dumb enough to believe you. Kiana got the bag. I saw it. That's I watched true. it. I wrote it down. That is true. This started off as just a random NXT match. I was so fucking pissed by the end of the whole Because it was horrible. It was horrible by all parties involved. Gigi, Kiana, the ref, and Vic. Fuck all you. <laughs> Wow. One, two, three. Dominic Mysterio wins the North America. This fucking crowd. Oh, my God. Somebody texted me from the building, and they're like, they're literally screaming bloody murder, which I think I think they were threatening to kill Dominic is what it sounds like to me. They were so fucking angry that Dominic Mysterio won that North American title from Wesley. The heat was absolutely ridiculous for this title change. Fans are like, they got their face in their hands like, oh! I, 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 I believe people may have been weeping. This NXT show beat Collision on Saturday. The main event segment with Dom beat the CM Punk match, the finals of the Owen Hart tournament, which was the highest rated thing on Collision. And it was only a few weeks ago that the world heavyweight champion Seth Rollins went down to NXT to defend the world heavyweight title against Braun Breaker, Dominic outdrew Seth Rollins in this main event here. Holy smokes.